All right, this video is about the Ford 300 inline six engine. Specifically, it's about the uh, heavy duty exhaust manifold that was made from 1965 up to 74. This exhaust manifold was found on some one ton flatbed dump trucks with uh, a dump truck application heavy loads. These are rare manifolds to find. Before I get into the particulars about this, I want to show you what a regular manifold is. This is uh, just a regular Ford 300 exhaust manifold. You'll find these on 95% or better of the Ford 300s out there as, long as, the t as well as the 240 engines. Uh, I just wanted to uh, just take a video and give some specs on this manifold here. Uh, they're, they're pretty rare. I've looked for three years, finally found one at a scrapyard for about $30. Uh, there's not a lot of information on these on the internet, so this video is going to provide some of that information as best to my knowledge. But uh, first, this manifold here, you're probably pretty common with, just a regular 300 manifold. Nothing special, it's got the heat riser right there. Let's see if I can work that. That's in good working order. Uh, intake manifold mounts on top obviously and that heats the carburetor on the intake. The biggest difference between the manifolds are the two inch exhaust right here on the stock manifolds is two inch coming right out so you have to run two uh, two inch hole two inch exhaust all the way out your 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 back and also the exit is kinda angled at about a 45 from the engine block itself going out back out that direction around the starter so that's your regular stock exhaust manifold that you find on most Ford 300s. The heavy duty exhaust manifold was designed for one ton trucks and, and dump trucks that had a lot of weight in them, five, six yards of road material. And these engines ran, you know, three, four thousand RPMs all day long. So Ford made a manifold with a two and a half inch exhaust, as you can see right here. A significantly larger square inch dump than the than the two inch to my left there so that's the main difference the biggest difference between these two manifolds this one does not have a heat riser it's got a hole in it for heat to direct up to the intake to heat the carburetor but does not have a flapper heat riser so less restriction in most other ways the manifolds are very similar it tends to be a little thicker design around here. I've seen a lot of these manifolds crack across here because it's just such a long cast from one end to the other. Uh, heat and pressure changes, I've seen a lot of them crack right through here. So some of the, most of the stock ones look like this. There's some of them that didn't have these cooling ribs. The one on the 67 High Boy does not. It doesn't have these cooling ribs but it looks very similar to this. So Here's the HD manifold and uh, I went over that it looks very similar so uh, the exhaust dumps out almost straight down it's got a couple degrees angle to the to the rear of the truck as you can see it's not straight down it's angled just a little bit I think that's to take a couple degrees for the fact that the engines tilted up slightly so when it's in the truck it really goes straight down to the ground and you want to route your pipe probably at a 90 degree angle towards the rear of the truck so so the biggest advantage I can see on these is just airflow. You get a lot more airflow at higher RPMs coming out of this manifold. As you can see right there, two and a half inches is significantly larger than two inches. Uh, this manifold had a little bit of a lip right here that I ground down. The idea of it is that the uh, two and a half inch pipe slides into here and hits the butt end of the lip, but I didn't like the restriction there, so I ground it down. Instead, I'm going to put a flange fitting with a donut gasket around here maximum flow so probably the the the, the greatest uh, the greatest value of these manifolds are that I've seen some people put turbo setups on these engines and so you know there's no kit available to do it but you know a guy with a welder and some knowledge can easily fabricate a bracket and and bolt a turbo onto the bottom of that and run your intake and all that stuff. I don't know much about turbos, but 
but you can have a turbocharged engine with this manifold, everything dumping out here, and put a turbo on the end of here. You can't really do that with uh, with this manifold. You know, it just it's angled wrong, and you couldn't really bolt a turbo onto something like that. So, so some guys will do that. Um, this is the Ford 300 HD manifold. Uh, I, I got some. The, uh, this one I took kept an eye on for about three years. I finally found one. I snapped it up for 30 bucks. So, so if you're a scrapyard and you're popping hoods, look for the inline six. And real quick way to tell is just see if the exhaust is running straight down as opposed to. 45 degrees towards the back like most of the other manifolds do. If you do, grab it. Even if you don't want it, you can probably sell it on eBay and make some money. These are pretty rare, uh, pretty hard to come by. So, uh, Here's a little bit of technical information I found on the internet. I found this from several different sources. It just gives you some square, a square inch comparison of the, uh, of the exhaust outlet. And obviously your stock manifold right there is a two inch outlet. It gives you that square inch exit 3.14. The FI manifolds, which you find in the late 80s and 90s, 300 inlines, those are real popular for getting a, a better exhaust flow setup because they're cheap and available. And you know you run two duals out, and that gives you uh, that 4.8 inch exit. Uh, a lot of guys do that for maximum flow. And then the HD manifold's got that two and a half inch outlet at 4.9. So you you do have a little bit more airflow from the EFI setup, but obviously the EFI's got its own tubes and pipes. It's like a header setup, so maybe they flow more efficient. I don't know. Each to his own. I think the EFI manifold looks kind of ugly, so so I like the original look of the of this one to put on. So. So there's a little technical information it gives you the amount of flow for each manifold that Ford makes. Uh, this is a supplier that I found on the internet that that I think makes these manifolds brand new, these HD manifolds. And there's their website and phone number right there as you can see. As of today, September 2013, uh, they still advertise this manifold on the website. So imagine you can still buy it. I don't know what the price is on them. But uh, if not, you're kind of out of luck. You're you're down to looking to scrap yards. These things are pretty rare. So so uh, that's about it. Just wanted to give some information on this manifold. These not very much information out out there on these. So my plan is to put this one in in my truck here, and it's going to give a lot of flow out. And then in the future, I want to get a four barrel intake with a carburetor. See if that works. So. Hope that helps you. Just a little bit of tidbit information on these Ford 300s. So, if you see one of these manifolds, uh, snap it up. Don't don't let it go to the crusher. Uh, they're pretty rare, and I think in the future they'll they'll be sought after for guys that want to turbo their engines and and get some exhaust flow out of it.